Sunday assistant train. When I was in film school, it's like the place you wanted to be was like you want to take your film to Sundance. So many films and filmmakers that, that we've been just exposed to as film fans has been through Sundance. I actually volunteered at Sundance when I was a late teen. Knowing that my film premiere there was amazing and then also like seeing the laurels. <laughs> really exciting to be with all the other filmmakers, people who have done such a range of different things. I think Sundance completely changed my life. I'm sure there are so many filmmakers who would say the same. We never expected it was going to get the traction it has worldwide and the reaction of people who we never thought it would resonate with. So I was like, I want to be a part of this. I felt privileged to be a part of it. We knew making it that we were onto something special, but I don't think our brains would ever let us dream something as big no. as Sundance. It really is just such a gorgeous atmosphere. We have all these amazing experts from across different roles in the industry giving up their time for free. You're sitting with like some of the most important people in the film industry in the country, maybe in the world. It's good to just learn from them. And hopefully in a couple of years we'll be where they are. <laughs> just feels like a great hub of inspiration, collaboration and potential. Kinds of Kindness is the surprise film at this year's edition of Sundance Live. Sundance really celebrates the filmmaker, the storyteller. To be here tonight with Kinky Boots is really lovely. We've all reunited for the first time in like 15 years. That was like my, the beginning of my relationship with Sundance and it's been incredible over the years to carry on going back, to present films there and then to present films as a director as well. Don't know what gave me the gumption to say, yes, I will do it. I will find the money, I'll find the producers, we'll make this happen. I am forever grateful to Sundance for really becoming a launching pad for everything that's come since. I think it was part of a British renaissance in cinema as well at the time, you know, by celebrating the film today that was made 28 years ago. It will give hope to young filmmakers out there. We made the movie in a way that feels very small and intimate and communal. It was always important to us that it felt like it was homegrown. To be here with some of my best friends who are like the most brilliant women that I know is extra special for sure. To be producing a film here, it's like dream, dream, dream come true. The winner of the Audience Award is Your Monster. I love London. <laughs> Seeing our filmmakers interact with audiences here in London was so heartwarming and I think the audiences here are incredible. It's always an honor to be in partnership with, with Picture House and to be back here this weekend is just so special. Always incredible, a new adventure, new audiences, new incredible films and artists. Always looking forward, we are the best. Sundance London is the best and this is where it's at.